welcome back to my youtube channel so um we are going to be looking at an other lesson or session on beta function so in our previous video we got we actually made it made um we actually, we actually made note of two formulas we made note of the general representation of our beta function and we derived a second formula i call it the trick form of beta function which is from zero to infinity of two right oh sorry um yeah two sine two n minus one theta cos two n minus one theta d theta so we made note of this um representation on um uh, previous video right so if you have not actually watched the previous video i'm going to drop the link up here that will direct you to the video so now we're going to be proving a third formula or i i need in this this formula we are not we are not going to be having an integration sign so i call it a more simpler formula of beta function so now how do we derive that formula now i'm going to be taking just this integrals the just the integral here and leaving the constant right because i'm going to derive the formula so i'm going to be taking just the integral and leaving the constant so now let's begin so now there's what we call before we begin there's what we call reduction formula reduction formula is simply a formula of this the powers of sine and cosine of the formula for the integration of the powers of sine and cosine that in which it makes it easier for us to solve the problem right so um, we're going to make use of two forms of reduction formula. It's not actually form. Is that way you can express it in deriving the third form for beta function. I know all this sounds so boring, and but when we derive the formula, you you actually really enjoy it. So now let's begin. So we we'll that's what we call in reduction formula. Right. So like I said, we're making going to make use of two types of reduction formula or two forms of reduction formula. Our first one says integral of zero to, to pi over two sine m x cos n x dx is equal to m minus one divided by m plus n. Integral comes from zero to pi over two sine two sin m minus 2 x cos x now second form says now second form goes like this integral of pi over 2 sin m x cos n x dx is equal to n minus 1 divided by m plus n integral from, from 0 to pi over 2 sine m x cos n minus 2 dx right so you might be thinking what's the use of all this formula is just writing but um i want you to follow me step by step you really see the formula we're going to be derived and it's going to be beautiful so like i said we're going to be taking we're going to be making use of just this integral here and leaving out the constant too so now bringing out my integral so this is integral coming from 0 to pi over 2 right and this is sine 2 m minus 1 the n theta then this is cos 2 n minus 1 theta d theta now i'm going to be taking no use i'm going to make use of, of my first reduction formula first so anywhere i see m i'm going to be replacing it with the 2 m minus 1 and anywhere i see n i'm going to be replacing it with what 2 n minus 1 so replacing m with 2m minus 1 and replacing n with 2m with 2n minus 1 i'll be having my formula gives my formula becomes 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m minus 1 x and theta let me make it in with respect to theta right then cos 2n minus 1 Theta. remember theta and x are just another variable you can i can actually represent it with n and i can just represent it with z so it's just a variable with alphabet so i can just choose to take my x to be theta then d theta equals and when i see m i put 2m minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2m minus 1 plus 2n minus 1 right then the integral coming from 0 to pi over 2 
right then I have this to be sine 2m minus 1 minus 2 theta right then let's continue from here cos 2n minus 1 um, theta remember this is 2n minus 1 minus 2 then d theta right so going to be simplifying so writing is a more simpler term so this is theta from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m two minus 1 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta equals 2m minus 2 divided by 2m plus 2n minus 2 right this is minus 1 minus 1 is 2 then integral come from 0 to pi over 2 this is sine 2m minus 1 minus 2 and that is 2m minus 3 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta right so this is now in a more simpler term so what do we need to do for our second step so our second step goes like this now i'm going to be taking this integral i have here and imposing it on our second reduction formula so the integral we have here is what um Integral come from 0 to pi over 2, right? Then sine to n minus 3, theta cos 2n minus 1, then theta d theta. So my second reduction formula is given as this, right? This is my second reduction formula. So I'm going to be imposing it on my second reduction formula. That means anywhere I see m, I'm going to be replacing it with 2m minus 3, and anywhere I see n, I'm going to be replacing it with 2m minus 1. So, like I said, taking this integral, I have integral coming from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m minus 3 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta right so imposing it on my second reduction formula anywhere i see m i put n anywhere i see m i put m anywhere i see m i put n anywhere i see n i put m so um imposing this is my second reduction formula right so imposing it on my second reduction formula i have um, 2n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2m minus 3 plus 2n minus 1 right then um, integral coming from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m minus 3 um 2n minus 1 sorry um okay sorry there's a mistake when i put when i insert 2n minus 1 remember on our second reduction formula we are having um this 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 and we're having n minus 2 so when i replace n minus 2 with 2 n minus 1 it becomes 2 n minus 3 so we, we have successfully derived two formulas from a trig form of beta function so um we're going to be simplifying those formulas to get the formula we are looking for so the two formulas we derived from the first formula we derived from our beta function was b of mn sorry the for the first formula we derived from our reduction formula was integral coming from zero to pi over two right of um sine and, and sine two m minus one theta cos two n minus one theta d theta is equal to two m minus two divided by two m plus two n minus two Integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m two minus 3 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta. And we took this and we posed it on our second reduction formula to have that the integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 of sine 2m two minus 3 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta is equal to 2n minus 2 divided by 2m plus 2n minus 4. Integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 of sine 2 n minus 3 cos 2 n minus 3 theta d theta. So now we're going to be replacing this value. Remember, we substituted this, we, we got this value from this, right? So we replace this value with this. So we'll be having integral come from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 n minus 1, right? Um, theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta is equal to 
now if, if i factor out two from here so if i factor out two from here this um m minus one right we factor out two from the denominator this is m plus n minus one then integral comes from zero to pi over two right so okay like i said like i said we want to substitute this with this right so like since i'm just let me just rewrite it so i have, I have something like this to m minus three theta cos to n minus one theta d theta right so this has already been simplified to cancel to two we'll cancel out two then let me substitute now let me substitute this for this so i have m minus one divided by m plus n minus one then times 2n minus 2 divided by 2m plus 2n minus 4 integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m minus 3 theta cos 2n minus 3 theta d theta right so we are going to be simplifying this right now so simplifying that is factoring out 2 from here i have m minus 1 this is m plus n minus 1 then 2n minus 1, 2m plus n minus 2, right? Factoring out 2 from here, I'm left with 2 here. Then integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2n minus 3 theta cos 2n minus 3 theta d theta. So, 2 you cancel out 2, right? So we are left with m minus 1 times n minus 1, m plus n minus 1 m plus n minus 2 integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 m minus 3 theta cos 2 n minus 3 theta d theta so all from this sine 2 m minus 1 theta cos 2 n minus 1 theta so you see this formula was gotten from a trick form of beta function remember we only took the integral side we left the constant 2 so now what how, how do we pro proceed from here so in order to get remember bn b slash m b of m on b of mn is equal to 2 integral of 0 to pi over 2 sine 2m two minus 1 right cos um theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta but what we have here is just the integral there is no there is no constant so in order to um get in order to replace this with my b slash n that's dividing both sides by two so my this if this one over two b n will now be equal to this so in order to replace this in terms of beta of m n i just divide both sides by two remember beta of m n is two this for this is the formula we derived on our last video right beta of m n is this right so in order to replace this, I just divide both sides by two. Then I have this, right? Cos two n minus one theta d theta. So I'm going to replace. I'm going to replacing this with this into this equation. So I have one over two b slash m n is equal to m minus one n minus one, right? So m m plus n minus one m plus n minus two um integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 m minus 3 cos 2 n minus 3 theta d theta right so um what do we need to do here so there there's a, there is one more thing we need to do now if you can recall that give looking at this formula and um looking at our general representation for beta function formula okay first let's multiply 2 by 2 so this is b of m n is equal to m minus 1 n minus 1 right of m plus n minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 2 then 2 multiplying it by the multiplying this 2 when 2 multiplies 2 here so we'll be left with 2 here then divide it then of when the graph comes from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 my n minus 3 right theta cos 2n minus 3 theta d theta so now taking a look at this formula i want to look at this formula very carefully so writing that formula like as to look at so i said taking a look at this formula for example look at looking at um two 
integral comes from pi over 2 sine 2 n minus 3 theta cos 2 n minus 3 theta d theta now looking at this formula now if you can recall that the general representation for for b of m n is 2 integral comes from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 n minus 1 cos 2 n minus 1 right so if i decide to replace m here with m minus 1 i will obtain this formula so replacing m with m minus 1 and replacing n with m minus 1 i'll be left with 2 integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine right sine 2 m minus 1 minus 1 theta cos 2 n minus 1 minus 1 theta d theta right so simplifying through this i'll be left with 2 integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine 2 m minus 2 times minus 1 that's minus 2 right minus 2 minus 1 that's minus 3 theta cos same applies here 2 n minus 3 theta d theta so you see that b of m minus 1 and n minus 1 is equal to this formula so going back to our original formula that we had b of m n is equal to n minus 1 n minus 1 divided by n plus n minus 1 n plus n minus 2 we can replace this with this so we'll be having b of m minus 1 n minus 1 so this is the long loss formula we have been trying to derive so my b of m n now that's my beta function of m n is equal to m minus 1 instead of those long formula integral formula we have we are having a simplified formula here n minus 1 and plus m plus n minus 2 times b of m minus 1 n minus 1 so um this is the formula we have been trying to derive so now let's video we are going to take a look at an example you see that it's very 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 easy to solve with this formula so now let's take a look at an, an example so see you guys on the next video peace